So hello my friends, Devon Linux here, Photography PX. In today's video we'll cover the main highlight features and do an overview of Canon's XC15. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Initially released in the fall of 2016, Canon's XC15 comes to market to add more professionalism to the previously released XC10, which debuted the previous year. Technically, it's a camcorder, but one that travels the gray area between traditional DSLRs and other larger camcorders and cinema cameras. So it's neither conventional like the XA or XF series, nor truly professional like the C300 series. Even so, it's a camera that Canon aims at multimedia creators wanting an all-inclusive tool for shooting handheld editorial or ENG work. And it's also a camera aimed at existing C100 or C300 users looking for a compact and portable B camera for a unique second angle. On paper, it looks to fill an interesting gap for DSLR shooters as well, wanting a more video-centric camera, but those who aren't quite ready to leap to the higher end cinema range or ready to venture to interchangeable lens cameras. And it does so with a surprisingly attractive price point as well. It features a 12 megapixel 1 inch CMOS sensor and the Digic DV5 processor, letting the camera produce 4K uncropped 4K UHD video at 30p and 1080p full HD video at 60p. And it does so using oversampling to create uncropped full resolution 4K UHD. This sensor and processor configuration also boasts 12 stops of dynamic range, providing excellent latitude to work the footage in contrasting scenes. While for stills, it's a fully functional photography camera that shoots 12 megapixel JPEGs using a mechanical shutter. Compared to rivals, its sizable one inch sensor produces a more shallow depth of field, and it also helps the camera resolve fine details. Plus, you can easily get smooth defocusing by zooming in towards the telephoto end. But back on the video capabilities, like the XC10, this camera incorporates the XAVCS codec to balance storage demand and image quality. As such, the camera records 4K video to the MXF wrapper, and it does so at a maximum data rate of 205 to 305 megabits per second via intraframe compression to an 8-bit 422 codec. With IntraFrame, the camera captures all the detail and resolution possible from the sensor on a frame-by-frame -frame basis, and doing so lets you edit with more fidelity and pull higher quality images. While 1080p videos record at 35 to 50 megabits per second, also to the MXF wrapper with long gap compression and an 8-bit 422 codec. The camera also obtains the new movie look settings to adjust the gamma curves for seamless cross compatibility and easier grading. And they're here to match its colors to other EOS cinema cameras, namely the C300 Mark II. In this case, it has both Canon log and wide DR gamma curves to maximize its full 12-stop dynamic range. And it also has an integrated 10 times optical zoom, 8.9 to 89 millimeter f2.8 to 5.6 video lens, giving it an effective focal length of 27.3 to 273 millimeters. This lens also has dedicated focus and zoom rings and controls to switch from manual to autofocus. And it uses a combination of low dispersion lens elements to compensate for chromatic aberration and maintain image quality across the entire zoom range. Outside of that though, the camera also features a built-in three-stop ND filter, the 4K frame grab feature, slow and fast motion recording, and it has an integrated waveform monitor. The camera also features a native ISO range from ISO 160 to 20,000, equivalent to 0 to 42 dB gain. And low light performance is good considering the sensor size. Its relatively large one inch sensor improves the camera signal to noise ratio compared to other smaller sensor camcorders, so users can expect usable footage up to ISO 3200. For focus, it features a TTL based autofocusing system with face detection and tracking. This system offers three states of transition speeds, ranging from low to high, and this lets you configure the camera's rack focusing for smoother effects. With automatic face detection, the camera can also recognize multiple faces within the frame, and it can intelligently determine the main subject, then track them accordingly as they move throughout the frame. But touching on the screen enables an override, letting you select any subject for it to follow instead. Otherwise, the camera also has focus peaking and magnification to ensure precise manual focusing. It uses the standard Canon LPE6N series battery found on much of their EOS range. 
and battery life is excellent. Expect two and a half hours of continuous 1080p recording on the single charge or about 90 minutes of 4K. For displays, it features a 3-inch tilting touchscreen LCD with a resolution of 1.03 million dots. The screen also uses a unique two-axis parallel hinge mechanism, letting it tilt 90 degrees to 115 degrees. Plus, being a touchscreen, it supports various touch gestures, including swiping, touch tracking, and full menu navigation. Canon's also included a removable viewfinder hood that attaches to the rear LCD, which is perfect for composing outdoors in bright environments. Physically, it offers a unique DSLR body design, yet it's quite compact and lightweight at only 2.1 pounds or 955 grams compared to other camcorders. Interestingly, it offers a rotating hand grip that rotates 90 degrees in either direction. It's a small change, but one that makes filming at awkward angles far more comfortable. The grip itself is also quite large, while contoured and similar to, say, a Canon 80D DSLR. As such, if you're already familiar with DSLR ergonomics, you'll find it immediately comfortable, and it includes several helpful controls too, including a thumb control dial, a menu button, and a record button. Outside of that though, you'll find a familiar host of camcorder controls. These range from three customizable function buttons, an AF-MF toggle, and outside of that, the camera also features dual band Wi-Fi, a mini HDMI port, a microphone input, a headphone output, a DC in socket for continuous power, a built-in stereo microphone, dual card slots, flicker reduction, zebras, a two times digital teleconverter, rolling shutter reduction, and built-in timecode. In the end, the Canon XC15 is a brilliant addition to their XC range of camcorders, and it improves nicely on the already unique XC10 with much needed XLR capabilities and specific user requests. Canon specifically markets this camera as a B camera in higher productions, but no, we'd argue it's not a good choice here. Instead, the XC15 is a solid option for web, TV, and multimedia journalists who don't already use high-end equipment but are looking to add video to their arsenal, and it's a great alternative for the price to a similarly capable DSLR without battling the more complicated accessory setup, rigging, and workarounds needed to make that camera capable. So as it stands, the XC15 is a great camera that's simple to use, efficient, and effective. Sure, camcorders are often an area overlooked by reviewers and content creators, but they're going strong nonetheless as an intelligent and effective solution towards a specific niche, and it could be your one-stop solution if you're a filmmaker wanting something affordable. So there you have it, my friends. There are the highlights in the overview of Canon's XC15. For more information on the XC15, check out our website, photographypx.com, and there you'll see a full detailed written review, as well as other reviews that may be of interest to you. You can also look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and I'll take you right to the full review. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography.